Hey, everybody. Happy Friday. Thanks for coming in to the Dolly and Polly Friday auction show with our special stand-in for Dolly. I need to get somebody that has an E. Happy Friday. Um, Dolly's in a nurse meeting right now, so she's running late. And um, I asked Jerry if he wanted to come in and and sell some of that stuff that, uh, you know, he's got a few pieces to sell. I'm the pinch hitter. Yeah, yeah. I haven't heard that phrase in a long time. Wow. <laughs> they still use that in baseball? Yes, they do. Really? I haven't watched a baseball game uh, ever, maybe. <laughs> well, so how are you doing today? It's been a long time since we spoke. <laughs> yeah, I know. Since Johnny's chat this morning. Yeah, since I spoke. Spewed my guts all over the place. Hey, Back by Silver, how are you? Hello, Back by Silver and everybody else that's in the chat. Yeah, there's a few people. They're coming in. There's some auctions ending. There's some going on. There's some ending. And just so you know, we have a 15-second lag. Okay. That's why I like yours, because when it does the countdown on the number. Yeah, you know, I know. I, I, I switch over and I look and see and I say, okay, 15 seconds. There we go. <laughs> I, I do the I do the same thing. Jerry didn't oh, sell I that didn't blanket sell that yet. towel yet. It's, it's a beach towel? It's a beach towel. It's a big beach towel. They had some big beach towels at that uh, the outlet. I wouldn't know. Like I said, they didn't let me in. Oh, right. Well, from what I understand, they restock on Wednesdays. So you went on a Wednesday, which is restock day. So I'm sure all the resellers go to, to grab everything. I got to admit, when, I, when Sandy and I first found the place years and years ago, it was not that busy. Even the Universal one across the way was not that busy. But um, I wish they had my size in some of the Marvel T-shirts at the Disney place because they were nice looking. Well, those are the ones that sell out at the at the uh, amusement place itself. Right. So all that is all you're getting is now just the leftovers. Hello, T. Hello, Melissa. Hello, Melissa. How is it in the Cape? Hello, Hemlock. That's. I'd, I'd like to ask her what that means. Hemlock. Lady Mercantile. We just call her T. T. Yeah, I don't. You know, I don't, I don't get it myself. Headlock Lady, maybe. Yeah, Headlock Lady. Now that's a, <laughs> there's a name for you. Um. <laughs> hello, Carolina ladies. Eh? Hello, Carolina lady. See this Hemlock Lady, Carolina Lady, Mister Lady. <laughs> Um, yeah, they. Uh, did you watch the video that I put up? Yes, I did. I watched it, and I said, oh, so that's the stuff I didn't get to go in and go see. Yeah, the tiki purses. <laughs> like I said, when, when I got there, they said, well, you had to leave your number. And I said, all right. And then when you text me, I get to go in. They said, no. Then you get to stand in the other line over there. And I said, for how long? They said, oh, until they let people out. So I said, so I'm going to be waiting like an hour to get in. And then maybe another half an hour. I said, no, I have a life. Sorry, but I got better yeah. things to do. And when we went, that was like the only store that was rocking was the Disney store. Yeah. Half of them were still closed. And in the kiosks, a lot of the kiosks were closed too. So I'm sure they were all hurt. But at that second one, the one that's near me, closer to me, I should say, um, all the other stores are open, and like you can go like into the Adidas store, and they'll let in like thirty people at a time. Right. And I'm like, uh, so why isn't Disney doing this? You know, I'm like, that makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, I know. You know the way okay. they were doing it, I was like, they were letting in just like five at a time, and I'm like, that's ridiculous. Right. Yeah, yeah we went when we went to that store. We had to go around the other side. Of the they sent us, they said, what's your phone number and your name? I says, okay. She no sooner put it in, I got the text, and she says, just go in. Uh, what the hell was that all about? But that's what I'm saying. See, they're all, they have no clue what they're doing. Right. 
<laughs> Hello, Kathy. I threw it away, T. Hemlock says hemlock is a poisonous plant. Yes, it is. Nice. Uh, that's um, so. So hemlock, lady mercantile, is a poisonous plant. Nice. And now. Other than that, all I did this morning was I packed up uh, all the people that paid so it can go out tomorrow. And then when I went and looked, when you said, nah, check your email, I went and looked and four more people paid. So I'm like, all right, so I'll have to pack up some more so it can all go out. Donna just uh, responded to my text. She said I should ask Johnny to take it down. Take what down? The video that I was ranting. Blah. <laughs> Blah. So now you'll get into trouble again. Yeah, what the hell, you know? It's, uh... Take your time, T. Well, maybe he can edit out your part. Yeah, I'm going to ask him right now. Sorry, everybody. I'm just uh, responding to a text. Paul, did I pay you for Pokemon cards backed by silver? Um, I think I only have a couple of invoices still backed. Your email is not backed by silver, so... Uh, I think you sent me an email, but it comes under A-N-O-N. So I deleted that thinking it was spam. Go ahead, keep talking. Oh, now he muted himself too. <laughs> Uh, hey, Dennis, uh, the Crystal, how are you? Sorry, I was letting my dad know that I'm on because he likes to watch when I'm on. Okay, well, do you you want to start? Because Dolly's still in the meeting, that's why Jerry's here, everybody. Um, we have a dozen people in here, a little over a dozen. Hey, Dennis, you want to start? Ladies. You want to start? If you want me to start so you can finish up with your stuff. Yeah, go ahead. How many do you want me to do? We'll do two and two. All righty. We are going to start out with 20 comics at $15. You get a Robin number one. And it's 15 plus shipping. A Walking Dead. A Captain America. A Wolverine with the hologram cover. Uh, Predator, and that is issue three. Then we have War of the Gods. Then we have The Amazing Spider Girl. Then we have X Factor. We have The Avengers. We have Secret Invasion. We have the all-new X-Men, and this is a variant cover, and that's issue number eight. And then we have Amazing Spider-Man, and that is issue 624. Then we have a Green Lantern, and this is a special edition for Secret Wars. That's a variant cover. Then we have uh, Jughead's Jokes. Then we have uh, Shadowhawk, that's number one. Then we have Moon Knight, number 50. We have a Daredevil 191. And X-Men 25 with a hologram cover. And a Midnight Suns, and that comes with a poster. So you got 20 comics for $15.
plus shipping. Any interest on the comic lot? It's a nice little assortment. If not, just type pass into the chat and we can move on to the next item. And remember, we don't get offended if you say pass. So, and if there is anything that you're looking for, just give a holler. One of us might have it. So, uh, any interest on the comics? All bagged and ready to go. And a lot of them are special ones, as you can see, like the one with the poster and the hologram covers and the variant covers. Those are the ones that everybody's chasing after nowadays. So any interest on the comic lot? If not, just let us know, and we shall move it along. All right, we're going to see you pass, so we pass it along. Alrighty, then we're going to go over to, we have a toy lot, looking for a $15 start on the toys. You get a Captain Marvel from Legends, you get a Shazam, and then you get another Legends figure, which is Talos. So, $15 plus shipping on the toy lot. Do we have any interest on the toy lot? They are all unopened and all in decent condition. Hello, Flippin' Frozen. Do we have any interest on the toy lot? You have Shazam with Captain Marvel, which Captain Marvel was also called Shazam. They just two different. Oh, there's Cat D in for 15. We are looking for 17. To keep the bid going. If not, we'll start calling it. Do we have 17? Looking for any advance? If not, we can start calling it. There is a 15 second lag, so we will give it a little time. How about like this? There we go. Any advance? If not, we're going to start counting it down. Awful quiet here. I feel like I'm all alone in the world. Yeah, that's because Big Mouth over here is <laughs> muted. That's okay. That's because you're busy. No, I shouldn't be. I shouldn't have to deal with this. Well, my F up. Where the hell? Your cake, so you have to sleep in it. Yeah, All right, we're going to start it. counting it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and we are sold to Cat D for 15. A nice buy, Cat D. You got another one? 
that was two for me, but do you want me to do another one? Yeah, back by silver. I you did, and I just sent you a reminder. Um I know a lot of people are not getting the invoices from um PayPal. So I just did send you a reminder. Flipping frozen, if you're still in here. I sent you one. I had to break your invoice down in a couple of pieces. All righty. So you want me to do another or? Yes. Okay. Cat uh, D, I just sent yours. Um, This is a Gucci bag. It is original. There are no cracks. No muffs, no smuffs, no nothing. And we are looking for 155 on the original Gucci bag. The wife is cleaning out some of her stuff, and so we're trying to make some room. Well, you're lucky. <laughs> no, she's just buying other things. Oh, what are you kidding? Yeah, we need a closet just for pocketbooks. Yep, that's what she's got. She's got a closet for her pocketbooks. But this is an authentic Gucci bag. She asked if I would put it up for her. Yeah, no pages. Uh, no, it was, this is from earlier. I was on a little bit of a rant. If there's no interest in the Gucci bag, just type in pass and we can move along. Wrong side, that side. Should do that side like that. Here we go. I'll explain it, Donna. So I'm assuming that it's yes, it's 155 on the Gucci bag. It is authentic. My wife doesn't buy the fake stuff. That's why it costs me a lot. Yes, one fifty-five. Any interest in the Gucci bag? No, uh, Donner, I'll just I'll explain it just because I have you and someone else. I I don't know. It's all nice and clean. I think she might have used this thing maybe once, maybe twice. All right, we got a pass, so. It's on to you, Paul. I'm All right. You're not ready, and you want me to go again? No, I'm good. Okay. I'm sorry about that. I just had to text somebody back. Paul, um, okay, I have a couple of people that purchase from me on a regular basis, and they asked if I could take payments. Um, normally, what we do is because we're on now twice a week for auctions, we will invoice at the end. Hello, Kathy. Um, at the end, when there's the next long span till the next auction. So the way we're doing it now is an auction uh, Friday and Sunday. So Monday, uh, typically, this is how I operate. Dolly's close, I guess. Uh, Monday, I will invoice because the next auction I'm going to do is Friday. So a couple of people uh, have asked me, Paul, can you take payments and just ship me for the amount of money I, I send out? I said, sort of like layaway. So I asked PayPal about it. They said, yeah, the link to the bottom left, and he just put in the minimum. What I didn't know, because I had to call PayPal again, I said, okay, I have an invoice 
that's a hundred dollars and a fifty dollar payment was made can i just select the items that are being shipped and will that deduct it from the invoice and they said no you have to do now a whole new invoice so it's not like layaway. So I didn't know that originally. So I figured now what I'll do is I will break up the invoice um, shippable. I, I look at it that way. And that's what I did. So I hope that I hope there's a couple of people in here and there's possibly a third that asked me about doing it. So hopefully that makes sense. Um You'd think PayPal would say, yeah, it's kind of like a layaway feature. We're a money app, so you would think that they would allow that. Yeah, $50, and he's going to take away these three items or two items, and it's going to reduce the shipping by this much. Beautiful. Um, so that was it. So, all right, here's my first item. is a real live stethoscope. So if anybody's going out as a doctor, if they're going, that sounds confusing. <laughs> Sorry, I try to make it as simple as possible. This is very heavy. This is a real stethoscope. Um, we can right. play doctor. So I'm looking for $5 plus shipping if anybody's interested. I don't know if it works. I haven't put those in my ears. I don't know if there's supposed to be coverings on them um, or whatever. So, but this is glass uh, on top. So if anybody uh, is, like I said, going to a party or dressing up as a um, doctor or a nurse, Needs a stethoscope to complete the costume. There you go. No, I think, uh, Dolly, if you're a nurse, I think they're issued to you. I think. I, I wouldn't imagine they would have... Um, they would have to buy their own supplies. What is the brand name? Wow, good question. I don't know where you would find a brand name on this. Yeah, there's no markings that I can see. Um, it would be around the rim of the diaphragm. Now, there's no no markings. What about on the inside part? Nope. 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 There's the glass cover, but no. 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 No markings. Um, Dolly did say when I showed her what I had when I got it, she did say they are expensive. But uh, nothing even on the hose. Yeah, no, there's no markings. This is a, um, uh, I don't know, a silent, silent manufacturing, generic stethoscope. Anyway, $5, opening bid. Anybody going once, 
five dollars. Anybody going twice? Uh, we just bought one for our stepdaughter. She's a nurse. Oh, wow. How much was it, Crystal? Big difference in sound quality. Okay. So you're looking for the Bose um, stethoscope. Dennis is in at five. Thank you, Dennis. It is a Litman. I have sold those. Wow. <laughs> 200. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why there's no, um, no markings on it. I really don't. Well, we got Dennis at five. If there's no advance, we're just going to call it to Dennis on the stethoscope. Going once. Bought a Litman for her daughter for three. What? Rhonda says she bought a Litman for her daughter. It cost her 300 Wow. I wow. guess they want to make sure you don't lose them. Yeah, I guess so. Um, going to Dennis twice for five. Last and final call. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, sold. Sold. You ready, Jerry? You ready, Jerry? No, it's your first item. I know, but I got another. I'm in the <laughs> deep in saving my ass, basically. Okay. I'm ready. We have this little Donald Duck bank. It is missing the cork. There is some... Um... No year on it, just has all the little information there, but no year. We are looking for ten dollars to start on the Donald Duck Bank. I've looked on eBay and a few other places and haven't seen this style anywhere, so I do not know how old it is. But I imagine it is a few years old because it is plastic. We are looking for a $10 start on the bank. And he is let's see, about six inches in, in height. Any interest on the, on the Donald Bank? Oh, and the arm moves. I guess when you put money in there, you say, okay, he's got money. Okay, nope, he has no money. Looking for a $10 stat on the Donald Bank. If no interest, just type in pass, and we can move on to the next item. The only markings are here at the bottom, and it just says Walt Disney Productions made in Korea. That's all it says on the bottom there in yellow, on the yellow. Jerry is Dolly now. Yep, I wear all kind of hats. Any interest in the Donald Bank? If not, just type in pass and we can move it along. And Donald could go. I'm going to be on the phone for a minute. <laughs> That's okay, Paul. We got you covered. Don't you worry. All right. We're going to say that's a pass on Donald. 
Uh, next item is an old advertisement for American National Pedal Cars. It is 11 and a half by 16 in size. We are looking for a $20 start on the pedal car sign. Any interest in the sign? It's a very nice piece, still has some of the colors left in it. But it's very nice, still has the holes where you can nail it to the side of your barn or your building, whatever, to advertise that you have these for sale. And it still has what was the sticky tape uh adhesive to stick it up onto the walls and it is embossed as you can see the markings on the back yep twenty dollar stock twenty dollars two oh any interest in the sign Yes, and it is metal. If no interest, just type in pass and we shall move it along. A quiet crowd today. All righty, we're going to say that's a pass, so we shall put that aside and move on to our next item while the boss is busy. We are doing a whole stack of playbills these are from the 20s to the mid 70s that's how many you're gonna get these are all different like south shore music circus uh let's see what else we got oh, we have oops, let's see oh, the empire theater that's from 1929 1930 we are looking for a $25, $25 start on the playbills. Oops, let's do these like this. And you have these. This is for the Majestic Theater. And then we have some more for the Majestic Theater, I guess. And then we have for the Broadhurst Theater. And then we have some from the Colonial Theater, which is in Boston. And it's we have still there. the North Shore Music Theater. Cap these in at 25. Okay. You got a whole stack. There's at least, I would say, a good 75, if not more. That's okay. Just I'll yell if you want. <laughs> Is the Colonial still open? Um, I believe I did uh, flipping. Yep, I believe you got one. Uh, one of these stacks. I found that I had more, so <laughs> I find I have lots of stuff when I open up. I open up totes. That's why I get scared to do it. But these are, like I said, you got some from the 20s and 30s. And then you got some from the 80s. And it's all different years, all 
different batches. But we're looking for 25. We got Cat D in for 25. Is there any advance? But like I said, you got a big stack here. There's at least a good 75 of them here. So if we have no more advance, we will, we will start counting it down and we can move on to the next item. As I said, we've all got some well-known people that were just starting out in theater and some well-known actors and everything. Let's see, like you got this. And we got Man of La Mancha. And where else up? We got Sherry. And let's see, where else we got up? Oh, Cactus Flower. And we got Mame with Angela Lansbury. And Plaza Suite with George C. Scott. So it's a nice little collection. Looking for 27. Back to my silver. I, I just sent you yours when Jerry was doing the last lot. Did you get it this time? Did you get an email from um, PayPal? How do I give you my info? Is that for you, Paul, or is that for me? Oh, Dolly. But I will, I'll put Dolly's email in. Um, yeah, for some reason, even myself, I'm not getting um, invoices from people. I have to go in and see if I have something outstanding. That's okay, Dolly. I'm just here to help out. Um, Christian Williams was asking, how do I give you my info? Okay, there, Christian, Kristen, Christian, Christian, Chris, Chris. Chris Kringle, Kristen. Uh, there's the form to fill out. It's easy, simple, and once you hit submit, I will, I will get it. There's no emailing, no nothing. Just fill out that form. As soon as you hit that submit, I'll get it, and I'll just send a copy to Dolly. Welcome back, T. Hey, Matt. How hey, headlock doing? ladies, back. <laughs> You're going to get in trouble again, Paul. Oh, what the hey. fuck? I mean, um, you know, I can't screw up any more than I did today. Yes, you can. Uh, we're at 25 with Cat D. Are we going to go any higher? Anybody else in? If not, we'll start calling it. Oh, that must be Kristen. Back by Silver, do me a favor then. Grab that form, fill it out so I can get your email address because maybe I have the wrong email address that it's sending to. Cat D, did you get one from me? Oh, my, Paul. Oh, my what? <laughs> Just saying, you're having a rough day today. Yeah, I have a big freaking mouth. <laughs> like Dolly told me a long time ago, my filter is gone. It's all gone. Don't ask me a question if you really don't want the answer. See, these are playbills from when you go see the different plays on Broadway and Boston and other theaters. There's like about 100 of them. And we are at 25. If not, we're going to start counting down. So we're going to say 10. Well, Nine. Count, count slower. Eight. Seven. Six. And Cat D, you still have your Batman cards here, so this will all go in the one big box. So don't pay that invoice yet on the Batman cards. Yeah, and Cat D, uh, I did, as I said, nothing to buy more stuff today. I only had one item. Did you get my invoice? Cat, because um, 
Back by Silver didn't, and I sent your reminder like right after his. So obviously something's going on with PayPal. Um, who am I looking for? Kristen. 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 Yes, Dolly, I have it. Success, Dolly. I have Kristen. And it is sold to Cat D for 25. Fantastic. Right, hold on. Just going here, going over there. Deleting all the hate mail I'm getting. Nice. <laughs> no, not really, but. You want to bet? <laughs> yeah, I know, huh? All right. Hey, you want me to do another, or are you coming in? Uh, I'll come in. Dolly, I just sent you Kristen's information. Thank you, Rhonda. Help me, Rhonda. Help, help me, Rhonda. Help me, Rhonda. All right, back by Silver. I saw you filled out the registration. Uh, have your email. That is definitely not the email on the PayPal. I can tell you that. Um, oh, it's me. Yes, it's you, unless you want me to do another one. No, hold on. All right, I'm going to do choice. of three sets of cards this last one i know it's only 4 30 in the afternoon this is olivia olivia was a is a famous artist from back in the day these are her set this is a full i think these are all full sets of cards and she's still a famous artist she's still working on stuff still working on stuff um, this is Cinderella cards. This is a complete set. Looking for a $20 start. These are on the back of the, of the special cards, the foils and such, and the puzzles of the standee cards. Or you get to choose this one, which is Aladdin. Puzzles, special cards, and then Olivia, for those, you have to be an adult to buy Olivia cards. Leave me out. <laughs> so I'm just going to see if I can pull this up here a little as it slowly falls. Okay, so you get set one, set two, or set three, looking for a $20 opening bid. $20 opening bid. Anybody interested in a set of cards? $20 opening bid. $20 opening bid. $20 opening bid. Opening bid. Opening bid. That's the kid with the opening bid. There's Dolly's email address. Just copy and paste. It should work then. Copy and paste. Should work then. Opening bid. Looking for the opening bid. Opening bid. Looking for 24. The opening bid on a set of cards for you today. Opening bid. So I guess we're passing because nobody has an opening bid, opening bid, opening, opening, opening bid, closing the bid, closing the bid, closing and closing and closing the bid. All right, here is something I got in a locker that uh, I purchased. Oh, Jay, how are you, Jay? I was looking for a $20 opening bid Per set, or your choice of set. I am the DVM, can't use sound. How much are the cards? You can come over to YouTube and join in if you'd like, but I was asking for a $20 opening bid per set, or for your choice of set of cards. Um, and those who think I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> He's in he's on the Facebook side. 
Um, so this, I said, I bought in a locker. It went to that person from that, the 1997 inaugural commemorative print. All right. And inside... was this beautiful letter typed to the person. Second, I'll just read you a tiny bit. The second inauguration of Bill Clinton and Al Gore in January was truly a historic, inspiring moment, and the thanks belongs to you, Mary, on this letter. Without your crucial help, the Republican Party would now be in control of the White House and our country's future, blah, blah, blah. Uh, President Clinton and Vice President Gore owe you a debt of gratitude. That's why we're sending you a special souvenir of this historic occasion, compliments of President and Vice President. Enclosed, you will find your copy of an official special edition print that was commissioned by the Democratic National Committee on behalf of President and Vice President, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> to commemorate the 53rd presidential, inaug presidential inaugural. And it's two sides, so they go on to say a little bit more. And here's a letter from Bill Clinton. Is it really signed by him? I doubt it, because, you know, they all have secretaries to do that stuff. Here's a certificate of authenticity for it, for her, February 1997. Here is the form that you have to fill out and return saying that you got it, which she didn't because it's right here. And here is the picture. It's on a little bit of a hard paper stock. It looks like it's a charcoal print, but it, this is a print, definitely a print, of president and vice president. And like I said... You know, did they really sign it? I doubt it. I'm just saying because, you know, they have, what do they call those auto, auto, auto graph, auto signature? Auto pen signers. Auto pen signers that do the stuff for the high ranking officials. So, and I could have swore there was something else in here. So, you're getting all this. I am looking for a $10 start for the presidential piece. Oh, yeah, here it is. And it also came, this was inside it. Bob Dole! Bob Dole! Bob Dole! Remember that from Saturday Night Live? Bob Dole! Bob Dole! 1996. Once again, I, his secretary probably signed it. So if we have any Political collectors looking for a ten dollar. They have stamps too. We use the stamp our boss's name on the checks. Yeah, true. I had that way back when my manager had to sign a lot of checks for me when I because I wasn't there. She just had my name. Bink, 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 bink. Paychecks and crap. Any anybody have any interest in the political memorabilia? Anybody interested? Political memorabilia. President Clinton, Vice President Dole. No, uh, Bob Dole and Vice President Al Gore, the manufacturer of the internet, as we all know. <laughs> Can't believe he got away with that stuff. Any interest? Anybody interested? Anybody, 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 anybody looking anybody, for... Anybody, 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 anybody. I like that song, too. <laughs> oh, you got to pass. Kathy says pass. What Kathy says goes. That's it. All right, so we are passing. Back to me again? Yeah, I get it. That was my second item. <laughs> oh, I figured you'd play ketchup. Um, no, I like mustard. Yeah, I know. Um, just so, just this is not for sale. These are already bought. 
Ronda, these are the ones going in your box. Two dollars. I'll start it off with two dollars. Oh, you got Pinocchio, three dollars. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones being added into your box there, Rhonda. Oh, Rhonda, aren't you special? No, she wants Disney comics. All right, we have this, which is the VHS for Star Wars. And they're all the special edition ones. These are actually starting to go up in price because the collectors are trying to get them because these have the original ways the movie were made before Lucas decided to recut them and recut them and add things and take out things. So we are looking for a $5 start on the Star Wars Trilogy VHS set. So for any of you Star Wars fans, if you want to see how the movie looked when he first made them, not when he changed them after 15 times of cutting it, this is your way of doing it. Do we have any interest on the Star Wars lot? The three VHSs. Here's the box. That's uh, Star Wars. And then Empire. And Jedi. And it comes in this lovely gold box because it was a gold thing. We got Dennis in at five. Any advance? And the advance. The box does have a little scuffing to it, but still it's in decent shape. And it'll look good up on your shelf. And as I said, this was the only way that you could see it. Well, like I said, uh, back by Silva, the Blu-rays and the DVD ones are all the recut ones where he kept changing the way it looked and adding special effects and everything. If you wanted to see it the way it was when they came out in the 70s and 80s, this was the way to see it. Because this was before he got his hands back on it and kept cutting it and changing things around and adding in new stuff. So if you want to see how it really looked back in the day, that's this is the way to do it. And if you're a purist of a film person like me, that would be the way to watch it. It's like watching an old black and white movie and they make it into color. It's like, no, the movie was black and white. Like King Kong. Yep. So you say, no, I don't want to see it in color. I want to see it in black and white. That's the way it was. And that's the way it was. 1935. If not, we're going to start calling it. There is cat. But I don't know if they still make it today. You could try to find it. But they did come out with the originals. The Just look for theatrical release. Original theatrical release. Yeah, but Lucas didn't do that when he, when he put them out. He put it out with all the new stuff in it when they had the Blu-ray and the DVD. He never released it that way. So that's what makes these a lot better because the, the Star Wars purists are going after these because they want to see the way it looked. And we are sold to Dennis. Dennis, don't worry. Your box is getting ready to go out tomorrow. I'll just put this in the box. 
So that way you don't have to worry about shipping. Oh. Alrighty, that's one. And now we're going to do another ephemera lot. And we are looking for a $15 stock. We have this, which is Red Wolf, a little uh, table standy. And then we have an official guide to the World's Fair of 1940 in pretty decent shape. Even comes with a little guide map. Then we have some postcards. And then we have some more postcards. None of them have been written on. But you get a whole bunch of these. Uh, there's no date on them, so I can't give you an actual date. But you get a whole bunch of different ones. You got that. And then we have this Mickey Mouse piece that says, thanks for being a part of the pass holder family. And then you have this postcard book, all unused. Then we have this Mickey monitor, which was for the 40th anniversary of Disney. And then we got, uh, this is for Sanford, Florida, the walking driving tour, all uh, with different postcards. And then we have this souvenir booklet for the opening of Disney World. It is in rough shape, but it is pretty good collection. And last but not least, we have the Time and Newsweek special editions for the September 11th attacks. So, any interest on the ephemera lot? Ah. Why are you upside down? Turn around. There we go. Any interest on the ephemera lot? If not, we'll just pass it and move along. And it got quiet again. Sorry about that. I'm just trying to correct Silver's invoice. That's okay. Because Silver, I have it back by Silver at Gmail. I guess that's not your, that's not the email address you gave me or that I have. So correcting it now, sending update. And it's sent. All righty. I'm guessing that's a pass. So we will pass on the ephemeral lot. Do you want me to do another one or? Yeah, if you could, because I'm just checking one more thing. No problem. This is crazy. This is a reseller's lot. There are a hundred promotional items in here. These are all from the studios to help promote the movies. We are looking for a $15 stock on the promotional lot. Some of them are mini DVDs. You got pins. You've got light up things. So it's all different stuff to help promote the movies. And like there's this one here that's for Reign of Fire. 
that's for the video game. You have a light stick here for Darkness Falls. Um, I think so, Matt. We got Cat D in at 15. This is a good reseller's lot because there's a hundred items even at a dollar a piece. You more than make back your money. Matt, she just beat you in, so oh, Matt comes in at 20. Nice lot. Cat D is in at 25. Like I said, it's you've got all kind of goodies in there. Like um, this one is an air freshener for the car. Is that a, that a DVD under your pinky? Yep, there's DVDs in here and everything. Nice. Oh, wait a yeah, this one here, that's for the Rain of Fire game. Yeah. Um, there's one here for Activision. I mean, there's all kind of stuff. Nice. You got uh, Cat D at 30. Like I said, it's a great reseller's lot. You got. Uh, Look at 32. We got uh, tattoos in here, all kind of stickers and buttons, wristbands. Um, well, you got Bumblebee, Saw, Rain of Fire, um, Vacation, well, National Lampoon's Vacation. Um, you got some Lord of the Ring buttons. Uh, let's see. See, we'll stop pulling them out. Uh, see, like you got Alien Resurrection. Uh, there's a promo DVD for Saw. Uh, Shaun of the Dead. Oh, what else we got in here? Let's see. Oh, that's for the Hollow Man. Uh, you got a Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Matt's in at 33. You got Ice Age. I guess Wonder Woman on DVD was supposed to release today because Walmart had uh, all the original DVD and everything on a big yeah. uh, end cap thing. And this is for Jeepers Creepers. And it just needs a new battery, but it lights up. Cat D35. So you got Looking for 37. House of the Dead. Uh, oh, there's another like tattoo or whatever for Bug. 35. Looking for 37. Yeah. There's a promo DVD for 24. Oh, there's a good one. Spider-Man Press Pass. Yeah, Daily Bugle. Yeah. Nice. Let's see. Oh. Matt's in at 40. There's a bottle opener for Employee of the Month. <laughs> There's a book. Cat D says, oh no, I'm in at 50. You got Snakes on a Plane. Oh, here's a good one. Clint Eastwood, Unforgiven. Nice. And Matt doesn't know what to do. Lanyard for Hellboy. Nice. And then there's a puzzle piece for Saw. Big puzzle. Yep, big puzzle. Uh, there's one for the old sci fi uh, channel show, The Invisible Man. Yeah, I never watched that. Yep, Hercules. Uh, nice metal one. Uh, I believe this is a magnet for Texas Chainsaw. Uh, Armageddon. And that's just out of this one bag. I haven't even touched the other bag yet. Well, where are we? Cat D, 50. Looking for 50. 50. We go fives, right? What? <coughs> Excuse me. 50. Looking for 55. Are you out? 
I am so sick of these goddamn snakes in the dang <laughs> damn auction. <laughs> you got Sleepy Hollow, Titan AE. 50 looking for, and Matt comes in at 55. For the six day Arnold Schwarzenegger. People under the stairs. There's a little wristband for Bulletproof Monk. I did see that, Silver. Um, I did see that. Uh, Thank you, and I will take care of it. There's another one for Hellboy. Wow, Cat D jumped up at 65. Ooh. Cat D's trying to say, yep. Yeah. She wants it. Uh, there's I mean, a Transformers pin. Okay. Let's see. What do we have in the other bag? Um, yep. There's the coaster for vacation. Oh, oh static. Oh, Sin City toe tag. <laughs> OA. Cry Wolf Lenticula. No trouble, uh, Silver. No trouble at all. The fault in our stars. I'm going to owe you a couple of dollars. And like I said, there's Rain of Fire, the game trailer. Some wrestling stickers. Oh, what's it up? Oh, for Bumblebee. Guardians of the Galaxy, part two. Oh, this is a good one for Minority Report. Maleficent. Are we good, Cat? It's 65, looking for 70. 65, looking for 70. Another relief one, the Millers. Wally World Vacation Air Freshener. The Flintstones. Oops, that way. Any advance? Matt said sell it. He can't look. <laughs> Pokemon, the movie. Angry Birds. <laughs> I'm late yeah, on that one. you. Scott Pilgrim wants to save the world. All right, sell it. Sell it. I can't look anymore either. Okay. So what is this? Cat D? Cat D, 65. We're going once. We're going twice. Sold. I'm waiting for the boss to say it. And it's sold. It can't be. Nice. My Thank turn. You, My turn? Your turn. All right. How do I follow that up now? Easy. You put stuff up. All right. I have these vintage make your own bumper sticker. I don't know if anybody uses bumper stickers. Make your own bumper sticker in minutes. Express yourself. Advertise. So it's like stickies, letters, and it gives you everything you need to make your own bumper sticker. So subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> 94 easy peel and cut black vinyl letters, 42 numbers and symbols, two, I don't know how much you can put on one bumper sticker, but it makes, how many bumper stickers does it make? This is from 1988. 1988. 
Um, suggestions. It gives you suggestions, which I find pretty funny. Powered by Fred and Barney. Say no to new gas tax. This is my other car. Free speech. See, these days it would say subscribe to my YouTube channel. Find me on Facebook. Uh, don't drive slow in this lane. Get the hell over. Uh, stuff like that. So I am doing three of these for a buck. One dollar. Three for a dollar. Who needs some? Good Christmas present, good uh, gag present. Uh, anybody? You got a booth at an antique mall or whatever, put them in there. You go to flea market, put them in there. You should be able to get a few dollars each. They're still all brand new packaged, never been opened, still sealed. Very nice. Um... So who's uh, Dennis Do? So this is bump. Wait a minute now. Bump was in first. Oh, it's okay. I have oh. tons. bumper sticker three, four. Sold and sold. So Dennis, Cat D, Cat D, three, four, one. Uh, Dennis, three, four, one. Anybody else? That's why mine would say Rhonda. Uh, Rhonda's language sold, sold. It's okay. I have well here to give you an idea. That's a third of what I have. <laughs> so, does anybody want like 20? Matt wants six. You have his information, right, Jerry? Yes, I do. So six, four, two. Uh, I'll take Dennis six. More than three. What was that? Dennis asked if he can get more than three. Yes, I'm doing them in lots of three for a dollar, Dennis. How many lots of three for a dollar would you like? So you want... Six for two dollars, Dennis, right? I would like five worth. <laughs> no, you want six for two dollars. I'm, I'm having a stressful day already, Dennis. Don't make me do math. Well, it's three of them for a dollar, right? Yeah, so six for two dollars. That's 15 of them. He wants five dollars worth. I think he wants five lots. No, see, Dennis says no. See, I know, I know. I'm good. Not all the time. <laughs> no. And Kathy right. wants the same as Dennis. Five worth. I'll take five bucks worth. Two same for up to fifteen total. All right, hold on then, please. <laughs> you said it's three for a dollar. He wants five dollars worth, so that means he gets fifteen of them. Oh, okay. So that's five lots. Five. There okay. you go. Damn it. That's what I was saying. <laughs> So fifth. That's 50. okay, back by silver. My brain hurts now too. And cat, you want the same thing? Yes, she does. All right, cat wants five, fifteen for five. All right, who else wants fifteen for five? We all want fifteen for. Matt wants fifteen for five. Who knew this was going to be so difficult? And who knew there was going to be math involved? Who's in charge here? She's in the background. She's coming on. 
Paul, are you causing problems? <laughs> All over the place, but you you won't be. You're not surprised anyway. No yeah. filter poly here, everybody. No filter poly. All right. So hold on. So I have Cat D, 15 for $5. Dennis Du, 15 for $5. Matt, 15 for $5. We're done with that. <laughs> Putting it away. I it started it. Now let's hope I have as many that I need. All right. Let's do this this lot. I have this. Oh, you love this. This is good. This is an old, and as Dolly says and other people say on their chat, this is an old um, remote. For Xbox. Xbox, I think. So there's that. I'm going to ask to start this at $25, this lot. Here is an Atari video touchpad. How do I know it's Atari? Because it says that right there. See, Ron just said it. You said you couldn't compete with me. Oh, yeah. And what did I say we were starting this? 15, no, 25. 25. And we get, we're adding this. A this Wii. Is, this is a Wii. Wii. Remember that commercial with the pig who used to go down the hill? Wee! Wee, wee, wee! No, he'd be in the car with the little uh, pinwheel. Yep, yeah, yep, that too. It's oh, written geez. on there. But there's all the wiring, so it's uh, complete. Have I tested it? No. <laughs> Have not tested it. So looking for a $25 opening bid. On the Wii and the Atari and Wii, Atari, Xbox. Looking for a $25 start. No, you did not test out the Wii pages. I haven't tested it, pages. Um, I haven't tested the Wii at all. I don't. I don't have a setup to test everything. Dennis is in at twenty-five. Dennis is twenty-five. Hello, okay, Sherry. Seven. Hey, Sherry. Where are you seeing twenty-seven? I said we're looking for twenty-seven. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> God, Bobby. Now it's all right. I'm questioning my own abilities today. I guess. Paul, do you have some beer? I don't. Unfortunately, I don't. I should That's have. He needs something, doll. You got a shot for him? Um, I left. I left at seven o'clock this morning to be at the place to pick up the stuff I wanted auction. I came back. Johnny had to put me on the chat, and I just spewed my guts out, and that was it. Spent the rest. Of, I'll spend the rest of the weekend just kicking myself in the tuchus. Uh oh, Paul, what'd you do? Oh, you don't want to know, Dolly. You don't yeah. want to know. Yeah. Go drink some coffee. I can't. I already had two large Starbucks <laughs> by the before I got home. All right, Dennis, 25, looking for 27. 25, looking for 27, 25, looking for 27, 27, 27 going once, 27, 27 going twice. Come on, let the moderator do her job, Paul. That's why she's here. I, I'm just not used to that, people <laughs> helping me and not being compensated. And Oh, well, it's okay, Paul. I, I feel you're dealing with a very peculiar Italian gentleman here. <laughs> Today, well, a very oh, peculiar yeah. Irish lady. No. <laughs> Paul, I just want to know one thing. What? 
you going to do the auction on Sunday too? <laughs> no, Dolly and I were talking about that. It's Dolly's week. Um, but we were talking about moving it while wow, Paul is out of control. Yep. I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. All right. Oh, this is Dennis. Yay. All right. Move so along. All right. Let me let me tell you what happened. Johnny was on. I'm I just got in. I, I was sweating from unloading the truck for the stuff I bought. So I sat down. And you know me, I like to put, like, I have my screen that I work on. Oh, you're not even looking at me. So I'm moving my hand like a regular Italian guy, and you're just looking at a Wii. Um, I told you, though, he's having a bad day. I know. I'm looking at my screen here, and over here is YouTube. Typically, I'll put the radio on in the morning so I can listen to the news. And, yeah, how many times can you hear that the president got covid <laughs> Um, so I'm starting to catch up. I'm doing a couple of last minute stuff so I can go to the post office. So I'm listening to Johnny's chat, you know, and something was said about auctions. And I said, isn't it bad enough that we're all doing these auctions and we're all unlicensed? Um, and then I, you know, and then the chat went off into eBay land and kicking them in the in the in the took us so that was it so i i had a i text two people and i said listen it's probably going to come back to you that i said something about uh the auctions and us being unlicensed i just want to say i am sorry i should have just kept my big fat mouth shut um and that was it oh no it was better than that why are you hiding it uh, what what else was it? Oh, you were talking about uh, somebody's auction that was charging. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't want to rehash it in case nobody here saw it, so I don't want to rehash it, and I want to keep I want to keep names out of it. But yeah, there's people on Facebook that have these groups, like Bid to Win is one, and then I don't know, they must have had a falling out with somebody else. Bid to Win the original one. But they have like 20,000 members, and they charge people, uh, I believe it's $15 or $20 or $10 an hour to do an auction on their, it's a group, a Facebook group page. So they charge people. But what even um, where Brian does his on Susan Backer's ephemera group? She charges. She charges. Of course, you have to have all ephemera. But I, I had actually thought of going on there to well, do no, it. Be I've seen them sell like little toys and all that. So that's not a femra. Well, I still have, I have this times a hundred really vintage postcards that I thought, well, maybe on her channel would go good because that's what people that have joined her group are into. And then there's like Jerry and I, they're on these action figure boards and they charge. Um, you know, you want to do it. Here's, um, you know, here's 20 bucks and you can have this hour. Oh, we have this hour. They're, they're all booked too, but you can only oh, wow. sell action figures. So, I mean, I get the point because they are putting their time in to help them sell the item, but at the same time, that's kind of ridiculous. No, the, the person running the site has nothing to do with it. They just give you like, let's say from five to six and they're not even anywhere around. It's just you there, and that's it. It's like this. You just pick up its name. They're not doing anything. All they right. you can use their site and have access to their, say, 4,000 uh, customers. Yep. Yeah. So they, YouTube and the uh, Auctioneers Guild, or whatever the, the, the National Association of Licensed Auctioneers, they need to get their took us in gear and come up with a licensing for people like us that want to do this and not have to worry that we're going to be fined or whatever. Well, here's the thing in my state, I don't have to be licensed. I have to be, if I'm going to sell other people's stuff, I'm not selling other people's stuff. I'm selling mine. No. But the problem is, is 
you're not just selling yours. You're actually buying storage units and then reselling that stuff. Yep. It's mine legally by law. True, but it all I've because I've had this long conversation with the Association of Auctioneers when you know I got that you know letter that I read to everybody online. <laughs> Um, it deals with interstate commerce. So that's what the they just need to come up with. Happens. Huh? You cross the line and that's what happens. Right. They just need to come up with it and and have a class. Right now, a class to be an auctioneer is like fifteen hundred bucks. And there's only a couple in the whole country. And it's from eight in the morning till eight at night. I think it's either eight or 10 days in a row, which is crazy because then you're talking a hotel room for that much time. So you're talking a good amount of money. They need to come up with a, a ruling or something. And then I was telling... Um, just for like something like this so they can say, okay, right. you can do and then I was, I was telling, and I'm sorry if I'm boring everybody in the audience. I was telling... Um, <laughs> I was telling Victoria, there's a growing, there's a growing amount of people lately asking for help, and they want us to do a um, a benefit auction. Uh, we don't know these people personally, you know. Ninety percent of us. I mean, I've known Jerry for decades, so yeah, I know Jerry. I don't know you personally, Dolly. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We've we've right. done a lot of business together and stuff, but there's no personal connection there. So I I you know I don't know know you. So I was saying if we had something organized, then we could start um, a relief plan where if, let's say YouTube got their crap together, and they said okay, the license for you guys to do an auction on our platform is a hundred bucks. And 50 of that from everybody we collect from around the country is going to go into this relief fund. So if all of a sudden Paul gets hit by a car and is laid up, um, he can apply to get some relief from the fund. That's make what it, our school department had. We had yeah, make it a real organization and stuff. You know? Put money aside. Well, I've already done a lot of calls. You saw, you know, the letter I got, I, that just set me off. So I called everybody I could. And, and from, the only thing I got from it is, yeah, they are working on, because it's interstate commerce, they're all working with the sales tax people in every state they're working with the Auctioneers Association, so they are trying to come up with some rules because, as we all know, YouTube auctions have taken off. Uh, and not only that, it's like social media because their people are selling on Instagram, on Pinterest, uh, on Facebook, and, of course, everybody wants their piece of the pie. And I don't, like Matt, Matt says, it blows my mind how you are asking for some association to take money from you. Yes, but if they give us structure for that, wouldn't it be worth it? How many people do you know in this chat right now, personally, Matt, or in another group would say, well, hey, if you were to say in their chat, I'm going to Paul's auction. Oh, I'll never buy from him. He screwed me over. Uh, he never ships his items. If there was a structure, oh no, Paul's a member of the local five, five, five. yeah, local would for online marketing auctions or stuff like that. They would because if Paul didn't abide by the rules, he would get booted out. Um, that's all I'm saying. If there was a structure in place, more people would trust. Um, the auctions, because you know, a couple of weeks ago, the it was crazy because of some stuff that was happening, and it's things like that that happen that make an association or something start to grow. That's all I'm saying. I'm just putting it out there. Um, 
I was a member of the Realtor Association. I am not anymore. I am still a licensed real estate broker, but I'm what they call a Thompson broker because, yeah, I don't want to pay the Realtor Association uh, $698 a year and not get anything for my money. This, we're so young, we're so new, this whole thing is so new, we could develop it in a good way where everybody's happy. You know, put 50% of that money for a relief fund. Put 10% of that money in an advertising fund. So on and so forth. You can develop it. If, a lot, if the right minds get together, it's like a mind mastermind group. The right people get together with the right ideas. It could grow and blossom into something nice. Um, vote for me on November 2nd, please. Um, I'm <laughs> I'll be kissing babies lately. <laughs> no, don't be doing that. Right. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Sorry, it's my sister. Uh, the politics are insane. That's true, Matt. The politics are really insane. But like I said, you get something, you get the right people together and they grow it and stuff. And you have to have a no tolerance. You make a rule. You have to abide by the rule. You have to make the board stick to upholding the rules. That's what I hate. Uh, when the board, you have a board and they don't abide by the rules. So did I bore everybody? I'm sorry. Let's get back to the auction, Rhonda says. Let's get back to the auction. <laughs> All right. So Dolly, are you ready? No, she's on the phone with her sister. Oh, sister's calling. Oh, so now it's back to me. Okay. We are doing this unopened. It is Victoria's Secrets. Secret Nights. We are looking for a $2 start. Never been used. Nice little, I guess it's it's a fragrance, perfume, and a lotion. It's not out of date. It's just that the wife didn't want to use it, so she gave it to me to see if I can't move it here. So we are looking for a $2 start on the Victoria's Secrets. What now, Rhonda? <sighs> $2. Any interest in the Victoria's Secrets? Hello, Carol. Sorry, that was my sister. I thought there was an emergency. That's okay. That's why you got the pinch for the answer. I'm here. Uh, no interest. We shall pass it along. And bring in Dolly since she's got to play catch up. Or Wait, her, or whichever one she wants to do. So we went right to Dolly. Okay, then. Paul's doing good. It's called the fast run. You guys ready? All right, Jerry, it's your turn. <laughs> nope. Oh, I got Cat D in for two. All right. We're gonna say we're gonna say sold and just leave it at that. Okay, on to Dolly now, Paul. There you go. So I got a huge deal on some coins here, and I'm going to start them out at 12. So they are proof sets. They are estimate mark. Let's see if I can get to show up here. There we go, the estimate mark. It has a penny if it's a cent piece. A dime, a quarter, and a nickel. Um, these are 1983s, or this one is 1983. And what's the starting price? It'd be $12 to start these because I got these at a huge deal. Okay. $12 on the coin proof set. So you have that. And it's upside down. <laughs> I 
and it's upside down again. These are really shiny. They're proofs, like I said. However, this one has, it looks like maybe there might be a hole in the case or something, but it started to, it's starting to patina. <laughs> so if there is no interest i need two passes yeah it shows up better this far back there we go yep it's a nice looking set any interest in the coin set? Okay, we're going to pass. You got to, just so you know, Dolly, you got a 15 second lag. Oh, is there? Okay. Just so you're aware. All right, we'll count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7. Oh, we got a pass. All right. That's a pass. All right, let's see. Give me a second here. I got to check something. No rush. We get paid by the hour here. Oh, we do? Are you paying yeah. me? No, Paul is. <laughs> Can't pay myself. <laughs> I'm good with uh, everybody's order on the bumper stickers. I uh, still have a lot left. And I'm going to do a jewelry jar coming up. There's a first yeah. for Polly. But go ahead, Doug. All right. I have a graded 1999 estimate mark Kennedy half dollar. And I'm going to start this out at 16 is what it was. So. There All you right. go. 16. Oh, 16. Okay. It's a deep cameo. There's your proof that is what it is. Hey, Penny. It's a really nice piece. I wish I could show it so you can see the sides there. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. There we go. Cats in at 16. We are looking for 18. There's your grade. It's a 69. Deep cameo. A Facebook auction groups are highly political and there's some, oh yeah. That's what I yep. see off Facebook. So if there's no other interest, I am looking for 18. I am going to start calling it. I'm going to go once to Cat D for 16. Going 
Going twice to Cat D for 16. I just want to show you a little bit here. It's starting to patina. I don't, I don't know why coins do that. It's very light. I know they oxidize from the air, but still, it's in a case. It shouldn't do that. How do you open these? You're not supposed to. Oh, so you can't open them at all? No, you can because they'll re re um regrade them. Yeah. Oh, okay. But they must have the tool to do it easy. Yeah, all right. Your screwdriver. It's your turn. I'm I'm gonna take a hammer. No, I'm kidding, Katzy. I wouldn't do that. It's not my turn. I I was the pinch hitter. Your main hitter is in, so I'm I'm good. <laughs> All right. I just want to say thanks for bringing me in, Paul. Well, you can stay. You don't have to go. You can stay. You can sell. Oh, you guys sell. Go right ahead. You can sell too. I'll just sit here and watch and laugh. Oh, you can yeah. sell too, Jerry. Thanks for the vote of confidence. <laughs> Oh, All right, I'm going to do a jewelry jaw. Sandy said this is all wearable. Ow, ow. There's no junk from what she says in here. It's all wearable costume jewelry. We'll start at 25. As far as she knows, there's no real silver. Yes, just like a slabbed comic. Can you see the comic behind me? Oh. Um, is that a banana from Fortnite? Yes, it is. I just thought he was peely. I thought he was so cool. Um, looking for 25 to start. If we get up a little, I will add more to it. And... I have another bag. Oh, okay. Uh, this does not come with the jar. So what's the sense of me weighing it when the jar is very heavy? If anybody has these jars. The mason jars. Mason jars. These make excellent humidors. Um, just saying. We would use these as humidors. Anybody interested? They want to know if your banana man is for sale. No. Uh, it's good to say something really bad, but no. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, it's Friday, right? I need. I should have some beer. I wish I had something. Sandy's got wine in the fridge. That's all you need is for me to have a buzz and today and to do this. I'm calling huh? Sandy. What? I said, that's it. I'm calling Sandy. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and Dolly, the bad thing is he's been like this all day. I haven't been that bad until I... Corner. And Flippin' Frozen says, what's a humidor? Oh, to keep your cigars fresh. Because if you like people, some people put their cigars in the refrigerator and the refrigerator has the dehumidifier, so it dries them all out and they're worthless. You need to keep like 60% humidity in your cigars to keep the, the tobacco fresh. Nice, fresh. <laughs> right, Hemlock, Headlock? Headlock, Lady Mercantile. Oh, Carol! Carol's Corner's here. Hi, Carol. I all right. When you guys are selling, I'm gonna go and get a glass of wine. Carol's here. Hey, it's me. It's Carol. It's me. It's Carol. Carol's Corner's here. Carol's Corner's here. This is him on too much coffee. That's damn right. Um, 
All right, anybody, uh, $25 to start? Anybody, 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 $25 to start? Anybody interested? All right, you get me all this also. $25 to start. This is just more costume jewelry pieces. Yeah, I know, but I've been doing things. Anybody interested? So you're getting a, a jar full, a bag full, looking for $25 to start. And I've been renamed Headlock. Headlock is a good name. Headlock Lady. I will get rid of the mercantile. Oh, Lady Headlock. Oh, there you go. Lady Headlock enters the ring. Any interest? $25. Looking for $25. Looking, looking, looking. All right, hold on. Looking, looking, looking. $25. $25. $25. $25. Sandy said this one is on eBay for $20. So we'll add that. That's after she did her examination. See, $20. So we're adding that. Any interest? $25. Any interest? Looking for $25. Oh my God, 25, no 25 yet. We're gonna add all these, I don't know what the pieces, watches and stuff. Three more watches, vintage watches. Look like they're in decent shape. So, adding that. Any interest? Looking for a $25 bid. He has changed my name to wrestling. What's Marion 25? Now you are looking for 27. Okay. Thank you, Rhonda. All right, we have 25, looking for 27. 25, looking for 27. Marion, okay, Marion, thank you. Paul, oh, you're lagging. No, Rhonda, he is, he is a lot behind watching. Sherry at 28. Does anybody have Sherry's info? Sherry, Sherry. yeah, I do. You do? Okay, cool. Cat D, is it OMG? I'm at five cookies. Oh, I would love a cookie. You know, my oh. coworker made me yeah. cookies yesterday at work. I'm... Go ahead. And I left it there. Somebody got into them. Oh, <laughs> Marion's back at 30. Paul, are you on live chat? Yes. It's like our chat's yep. not even moving. There we go. Live chat. Yeah. Marion's at 30. I, um, this morning on the way going, so it's seven, I got a large white chocolate mocha, I think it's called. And of course, I had to have a cheese Danish. And then on the way coming back, I got another one right there. Those four items, the two large coffees, the two cheese Danish, um, was like 1,500 calories, right? Just those four items. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. By 9 o'clock. 
Paul, I bought a small lot of jewelry from you for five dollars about seven weeks ago, and I sold one Casio watch in the lot for twenty. Really nice. Really nice. Yes, yeah, we try to bring you guys good deals to the best of our ability. That's yeah, Sandy. We've had these, and she did some research. That's why she wrote on the bag. She says, if you're going to list this, this is what it should go for uh, or start at. Um, the rest, she didn't want to list pieces, single pieces. And I definitely don't want to stand on eBay and list single pieces. That's how you make your money, Paul. I know. I'm trying not to do eBay at all. You sound like me. Do I? <laughs> Yeah, I, I think you're me in a different body. Oh, God knows I got room for two. <laughs> Rhonda, do you want to come in and, and use the, you know, talk instead of just typing? All right, we are sold to Marion for an amount that she bid for 30. Rhonda, do you want to come in and... and Talk. You don't have to get on screen if you don't want to. What about Etsy? I don't sell on any other platform except Amazon. So where do I send my info to need your email? Um, hold on. Copy. Marion, just fill this out. As soon as you hit submit, I will get it. And uh, then I'll send you an invoice on PayPal. Um, She's right. So Sorry, I was trying to get the dust off of these. I'm better on chat side. That way I'm on their laps. Okay. So I'm going to start this out at 20. It is a lot of sunglasses. They are all brand new except for one. Oh, shit. The ice cream man just drove down the street. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. I'm hearing a lot of live music. I'm saying, what the hell's going on? And the ice cream man pulls up like two or two doors down. There's six sunglasses all together. This one is the only one that is not brand new. But they are, if I can show you, carbons. Am I saying that right? Let's see if I get to show. No. Let's see. This is C-A-R-B-O-N. There's no scratches on it. There's dust. You can have the dust, though. So there's that one. This is Foster Grant. There's the retail price on that one. And who knows how long ago that was. Let's see. Oh, that's in 2012. Um, this one's called Enchanting. There's your Foster Grant. And here's your sides. No scratches. A lot of dust, though. Another Foster Grant. There's a price tag, probably again in uh, 2012. Are they me? Um, this one has like a metal insert. Kind of in there that says Foster Grant on it. I've never seen that on Foster Grants. I wonder what year that is. Oh, that's 2011. There you go. There's three. This one has that design frame. No scratches. A lot of dust, as you can see, and I don't see a price tag on that one. 
And this one says Studio 35 on it. But it's a Foster Grant. Hmm. How about this one? That kind of hurts with glasses on over top. And then here's the last one. Um, this one has like rhinestones on it. Right here. I know I have a small face. This one has dust on it. So dust is free. Let's see, get that to focus. There's your price tag. <laughs> and as you can tell, they've not been on anybody's face but mine. So all of those. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> and I probably have a couple more, so if I find them, I'll throw them in. Because there was a handful. I know, the free dust. <laughs> Maybe it has some cookies on it. So I, I was eating some cookies, but, you know. Oh, missed one. So there we go. We got two hip chicks in at 20. We are looking for 22. Yes, all of them for 20. I'm trying to move a warehouse, not keep adding to my downsizing. Oh, yeah. What, Paul? It's a great deal for 20. See all that free dust you guys can have? Let's see this one. That's you'll mine be, right there. You'll be back. <laughs> Hold on, let's see, let's see. Take off my glasses. That one. Now you're styling and profiling. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I th thought I heard was some whispers. All right, we'll start calling it. I will take extra care in shipping with these. They'll probably be shipped separate just so you don't get them um, scratched up or ruined. Because these are really nice. I know, Kat. Yeah, I was trying to wipe them all off. I got only five of them done. And I didn't get to the face yet on any of them. Me neither. All right, those are yours. Yay. And we are sold to two hip chicks for 20. Thank you, Rhonda.
And thank you all for being in the auction. Hope you're all having fun. Those are really nice glasses. You'll like them. Sorry, I didn't have the chance to clean them. I was trying to. All right, so I have some Monopoly pieces that I want to uh, sell. I'm going to start it at 15. They're actually pretty cool. So we got go directly to Joe. Oh, well, these are the John Lightning ones. Yep. I remember those. And then you have a little monopoly piece there. It's a bent on this corner right here. Otherwise, there is no other damage. Here's the back. I'm not sure what year these are. Do you know what the year these are? Uh, they were in the 90s. Oh, okay, yes. 2000, actually, on this one. I was close. I knew it was, like, just around that time. Because they got away from doing the big cards about that time. So there's that piece. And two hip chicks is in for 15. Then we have this piece, real mini, what does it say? Real mini game box board and pieces. Box lit flips open to reveal mini game board and game pieces. Store pieces in a secret drawer. There's a secret drawer on this. Um, it's never been opened. It has a little crease right here. Um, it is like a keychain. It is 1998, so th this is vintage. So there's is that one. And those were the other games that they had. And then we have what they call a Monopoly game pen. Um, it holds a mini game board, so there's a game board in it. Little dice, little house, little figure. There's a little little crease right here. For you, those adamant collectors, you got to know all, all about that stuff. Um, this was, let me see what year it was. 2001. <laughs> Rhonda. I, I thought you were talking about the um, brownies, Rhonda. So it says it is thumb slide at top and it pulls off to reveal the game board. It's a realistic miniature Monopoly game board. Non removable miniature game pieces. This tells you how to operate it. There's a number stamped right on the box for those who collect and need to know those numbers. It's right here. Um, it does come with a lifetime limited warranty, but not by me. And then they tell you the stylus service department number here or who to get a hold of. So they must replace any damage to it. So one, two, and three pieces. This right here will probably pay for the whole entire lot and then some. And actually, I know better because it's actually this one will pay for the whole entire lot and then some. Got it, Marion. Thank you. If not, we're going to start calling it. Really cool pieces. Um, oh, there's a new sack of money token inside too. Oh, that's really cool.
And you're like, whoa! Thank you, everybody! Paul's turn. Do you have something you want to sell? That's a silly question to ask me. <laughs> Is it? Right. We have this. We're going to try this. This is a signed card by Brendan Frazier. This was for the mummy set. There's the redemption card. It goes to show, see, I had to sign it, and they punch it and send it back to you. So I took off my phone number so that way if it does get bought, you winners can't call me because I don't answer the phone. But we got a signed Brendan Frazier card. We are looking for $40. Buy it now. And it will come in a uh, protection sleeve. Just want to show you that it was a legit one. It was the incentive card. So you get that and you get the one showing that it was a redemption card. So we got a signed Brendan Fraser card for 40 Any interest in the signed Brendan Fraser card? If not, just type in pass and we shall move it along because we have people that want to see other things. No interest in the card, just type in pass. We like to try different things. I think this is the first time you've had an autographed card on your channel, Paul. No, I sold the ones from Comic Con um, a month or so ago. Oh, okay. The, the lady from uh, True Blood, the guy from True Blood, and I forget the other show they were on. All righty. Since it was asked for, we have another lot of 100 promos. Looking for a $25 start. There are some doubles if the one who bid on, the, well, Cat D, I believe, yeah, Cat D won the last one. There are some doubles, but there are some new items, like the one for Saw. So it still works, but you have CDs, bookmarks, promo cards. You got a promo pack for Toy Story 3 in here. Uh, all different kind of buttons once again. Um, let's see. Yep. What else do we got? Oh, see, like we got this one for the Water Horse. And we got promo cards for the Lord of the Rings and for the Punisher. Matt's in at 25. Can you hold on a second, Jerry? You can. All right, you guys, I got to go and load up the warehouse. So my, my time limit's up. I got to go. So I want to say thank you to everybody, and I'll see you next time. All right. All right, all right darling. Yeah, don't forget, everybody, she's got to move her warehouse. You're still doing mystery boxes, right? Yep. I'm filling it up with whatever I can. I don't care what the value is. It's going. All right. So I'll put her email in again in case you want a mystery box from Dolly. Because she does have to move her warehouse. Yep. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, everyone. All right, Dolly. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And like I said, there are new CDs in here, like this one for Crank, and the cards, and some different buttons, and you got this, I believe this is for, uh, this is for Arist Aristocrats, the animated movie. Um, so there are different ones in here. I made sure I tried to fill it up, like you got this one for American Dad. So you do have some different stuff in here. 
So right now we are at 25 for the promo lot set. Any further interest? As I said, this does make a great reseller's lot. If you have a booth or whatever, you can put it up. And let me see. Where is it? I saw it in there. There's all kind of new stuff in there, like Doctor Strange, and let me see, yep. Cabin Fever, and Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, Lawnmower Man. Well, there is a lot of new stuff in here. There is some duplicates, but a lot of new stuff. If not, we'll call it. <laughs> All righty, uh, I'll take care of that one, and we're going to do the lawnmower man shirt. I don't even think that they ever did a promo shirt for Lawnmower Man, Matt. Wasn't it done by John Deere? <laughs> <laughs> you silly little man. <laughs> All right, we're doing five albums looking for a $10 start. You have Here Come the Hits. It has Tears for Fears, Pointer Sisters, Wham, Brian Adams. Ario Speedwagon, Scandal, Hall and Oats. Then we have Different Strokes, which has Johnny Winter, Poco, uh, Frazier, and DeBolt. Um, the Hollies. Then we have Rock Power, Don Kirshner's Rock Power with David Essex. Aretha Franklin, Barry White, Alice Cooper, and of course all the other different groups. And then we have Mini Pops, kids singing hit songs. And last but not least, we have Flashback Fever with Loving Spoonful, Beach Boys, The Birds, Paul Anka, Ronette. Uh, I think the Beatles are even on here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, nope. Uh, let me see. Who else? 1910 Fruit Gun Gum Company? Nothing yet, Don. It's coming. It's coming. Any interest in the albums? If not, just type in pass and we will move it along. No, Rhonda. Wow, what's going on again now? Rhonda just put in big bag of pro bag of promo goodies. But you're selling albums. Yep. And she, also, you... said, and she also said the records are starting at five. They're at ten. Yeah, Rhonda, what are you drinking? <laughs> It's that kind of <laughs> But since it's there, we will do the two hip chicks five dollars. Five albums, five dollars plus shipping. Any advance. 
Oh, somebody's on the phone. Sorry. Looking for seven on the album collection. We got Matt in at seven. The albums all play fine. I did give them all a testing. Two hip chicks at nine. Tell you what, because I know Paul loves this when I do this. We are going to throw in Stars on Long Play as well. So you're getting six albums. Part two. Part two. Matt in at not 11. Six albums. Matt's in at 11. Two hip chicks out to Matt. So we'll stop calling it down. Rhonda says, thank you, THC. <laughs> I never, never dawned that that's the initials, THC. There you go. I'm going once. Going twice. Going twice. Twice is twice. Because twice is nice. Final warning. Let's go to Matt for 11. Me? 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 Yes, you. All right. I'm going to do some comics. I'm going to start this at 10. These are from, well, this one is from 1995. Magic the Gathering. This is number three. And does it still have the card? Um, does it still have the card? It's the card. Well, it says it on the top of the book. It says comes with a card. Jerry says, you still have the card? That's right, the card. I don't think so. No, because those are usually bagged. Nope. No card. Uh, includes free Magic the Gathering creature tokens. Okay, that one had a token. Yeah, I spent the tokens. <laughs> okay, you're way back, video game. Way back in 1995. All right, so this is number three from Magic the Gathering. If you don't know, Magic the Gathering is a card game <laughs> like Dungeons and Dragons. Often, you will see people on a YouTube auction... <laughs> selling Magic the Gathering cards. Uh, includes a free Magic the Gathering card. Token. Yeah. Let's see if this one has the card. This is number two. Oh, well, it doesn't feel like it has a card in it. Nope, no CAD. That's why they're only $10 to start. But that's not it. Number three. Jeez, there's more? Issue two. And not to be let out by anybody, but this 
is issue number one of Magical the Gathering. And this one is supposed to have cod. And I don't, it's bending, so I don't see it have a cod. No. Oh, no. It, it has a duelist um, subscription cod <laughs> in it. So, oh, that's what I say to everybody usually, especially when they're in my way driving and I want to go fast and they're going slow. Stick my head out the window like this. So, what? wait a minute. That went pretty fast, didn't it? Yes, it did, Paul. You have to slow down. Yeah. Okay, I am not seeing cod except that. So, I would say no cod. All right, but anyway, that's issue one, two, and three, Magic the Gathering comics, or as they say in Wisconsin, comics. So that's issue one, two, and three. Then we're going to do Weird Science number two from 1990. This is all $10 to start. Uh, so over Magic. Uh, did you buy ice cream with those tokens? No. I actually am having a um, pink Moscato. And it is already affecting me. Um, this is from September 1990. This is issue number one of Weird Science. And this one here is October. This is number two. A Vault of Horror. And this one is from one year, long time ago, in 2006. This is from Free Comic Book Day. This is Walt Disney, Donald Duck. Oh, where's Rhonda? No, no, Rhonda can't bid. <laughs> and this one is from Walt Disney and this is this is not dated that I can see but I would imagine this has to be in the same kind of era this is the movie book for the little mermaid and this one is from 1988 this is the premiere issue of Mickey Mouse Magazine, Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse Magazine. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a selection of some comic books from all kinds of stuff. We are looking for a um, $10. $10 opening bid. And the reason... The reason that Rhonda can't bid is because I put aside for her a Mickey Mouse magazine premiere issue, a Donald Duck, and a Little Mermaid comic. And Cat D is in at 10. Cat D's in at 10. So Paul, oh shit, Paul is going to do his belly dance. I doubt it. You got you got some singles, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that mean you're gonna do it? <laughs> no. But um, Moscato is very good. No, Rhonda, I, uh, you, I, you know, I never ask anybody to help out. Uh, in the in with me anything that I'm doing unless I can pay them. Uh, so I appreciate, but I also feel obligated um, when people help out and do things something like that. I'm just weird like that. What I look for a single hundred dollar to do that. <laughs> 
All right, we got Cat D in at 10. And I thought Dolly was going to the warehouse. Paul, yeah, that sucks, man. Her landlord sucks. He's now going to be faced with having to rent the place. And how long is it going to take him in this market to, to rent a warehouse yep. like that? And now he loses out on the money. Yep. No, Rhonda, that's right is right. That's just the way I feel. And it's just the way I've always been. Right is right. Right. Very good. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. Yeah. Good chats for belly dancing. No, no, no. Cat D10 looking for 12. Cat D10 looking for 12. I will review once more. Premier issue. Winter 1988. Premier issue. Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse magazine. This is Little Mermaid, little scuffing there on the edge. This is basically the movie version of the comic book, uh, the comic book movie version. Well, you know what I'm trying to say. Walt Disney Comics, Donald Duck, Vault of Horror, Weird Science, number one, Weird Science, Number two, Magic the Gathering, number one, number two, number three. Back by Silver. Thanks, Back by Silver. You don't have to do that, seriously. Seriously, don't uh, start a trend. Don't. Thank you very much, though. I found out who took my tools. I didn't know. He took my tools out of the warehouse, told me that what I said they were worth, and I was, what? You were exaggerating about it. Wow. You, you could file a police report for that. But thank you very much, uh, Back by Silver. Thank you. You don't. You didn't have to do that. It is much appreciated, though. Thank you. Cat D is at 10. Going once. I'm never taking you to a club. <laughs> Cat D's at 10 going once. Cat D for 10 going twice on the lot of comics. Thanks everybody for coming in, listening to my stupid rants and everything today. Um, I should probably go on once next week and just do a, uh, a chat about stuff like that and see who ends, who wants to talk. Oh, don't forget Monday. What the hails happened to my channel? What the hails is coming on? So, Cat D, thank you, thank you, everybody, thank you. Was that one or two, Jerry? That was one. Great. Now I got to find another one. Yep. All right. Anybody into collector plates? Oh, and I got to write this down before I forget. This is the first thing I sold since the Wii, right? Yep. Sure, sure, Paul. Whatever you say. It should be Rhonda. He is very, very smart, not only with um, storage lockers, but he knows how to build a YouTube channel also. So I have these plates. I'm willing to start them at $5. Cora's Tea Party, number two, 915, whatever that means. These are all new in the box.
Here is the certificate of authenticity, number 915, Chorus Tea Party artist Richard Nolan, uh, second in a series, Family Treasures, Modern Masters. The edition size was uh, 15,000. What is that? Here is the plate. That's his signature. Of course, Tea Party Modern Masters, second in an issue from 1982, Modern Masters. I'm looking for a $5 start. $5 start on the collectible plate. They're brand new. I have this. And one, two, three, four, five others. Oh, I have two of these. Two of number ones. And two different ones. So I'll let the high bidder, if they want others... I'll let them choose that. Looking for a $5 start. If $5 is all we get, that's all we get. Any interest? They say like what I say. It looks better in your house than it does in mine. Yeah, basically. <laughs> As you can see, they're all brand new. They're all still in the boxes. You can't see behind me. Um... You can. I mean, I'm only showing this one right now, Angel, but um, I have, like I said, this is number two, and I do have number one. This is Cora's Tea Party. I believe number one is the recital, Cora's recital. I could see that. What numbers? Oh, hold on. This is 915. I have 912. And then Cora's recital, it says... Number one, I have 18132 and 11961. So they must have uh, produced more of those. And then I have Cora's Garden Party. That's plate number three. And I have number 1200. And then the last one could be from a totally different series. So high bidder gets choice of anyone they want or all of them for each the high bid price. And they're all in the boxes. They're all right here. So any interest in the collectible plates. Looking for a $5 opening bid on the plates. I believe they all have their certificate. Here's Cora's recital. Certificate of authenticity. This is 11961, Cora's recital. This is from an edition of, same thing, 15,000. They made less for Canada. Is this one is the signature. This one's nineteen eighty one.
Now the garden recital, I only have one of that one. The other last plate I have, it says Knowles on the box. <laughs> So no plastic around this one. Certificate of Authenticity. This is number 1200. Garden Party. There's the image on the plate. Cora's Garden Party. 1982. This is the only one of this one I have. The other ones I have two. I am willing to do the three of these. Start at $10 for all three. Start. $10 for all three as a start. If anyone's interested. All three plates looking for a $10 start. Um, if any of you have a, well, I know like uh, Dawn and Mary have a booth in their um, antique mall. I don't know if they sell collectible plates. I know a lot of the co typical collectible plates are like the Star Trek ones and the Star Wars ones and the peanuts and stuff. But anybody interested? Cora's Garden Party, Richard Nolan, or Zolan. $10 start, all three. Let's see what this is. This says Knowles, Fine China. Oh, didn't even see that. Very nice. Craftsmanship. This is the room light made. You got Dennis Dew in a 10. Dennis in a 10. Limited edition, limited to 150 firing days. And this is the Knowles plate. And it's all kind of like hand printed on there. No plastic covering on that plate. It has gold trim around the edges. All right, so we got Dennis at 10 for three of the cores. We got Dennis in for 10 on three of the cores. Any advance going once? Going twice. I just want to move it along. Last chance. These are good plates for $3.33 a piece. I didn't check to see what they were selling for, but you should be able to make your money back. Final warning. Sold to Dennis. Yay. Dennis, here's the question for you. Do you want the last three plates I have for another $10? Would be the Knowles plate and the, the recital one and the recital two. I will offer them to you at $10 also if you want them. And then I will be out of plates. 
well those type of collector's plates. I was going to say, then what are you going to eat off of? Paper plates. <laughs> Any interest, Dennis, in that offer? Sure. All right, Dennis. You got it. All my plates. Six plates. All gone. Twenty dollars. Thank you, Dennis. All righty. We're doing a little toy lot here. We are looking for a twelve dollar start. You have Skylander Giants. You have Skylander Spyro Adventures. And then you have a single one, which is Wham Shell. This came out in 2011, and the sets were, oh, that's 2011 as well, and that's 2012. So we are looking for a $12 stock on the Skylanders. Sorry for the glare. There we go. Any interest on the Skylanders? Sand Dollar in at 20. Hey, Sand Dollar. Hey, Sand Dollar. Thank, thank you. Looking for 22. Yep. Oh, yeah, I was going to say it's $12. Duh. Been a long day for all of us, and Paul's been making me laugh too much. It is $12 for the set of three. So we changed your bid there, Sand Dollar. It's twelve dollars. My mind was elsewhere, but we would have corrected it. No problem, Rhonda. I just figured that maybe Sand Dollar wanted to make sure he was getting it. But he knows me that I would have just turned around and said, no, we started at 12, so you get it at 12. We don't like people overpaying unless if they're in a bidding war. Any other bids? Looking for 14 on the Skylanders. Now they're picking on you, Rhonda. All righty, let's start calling it. I want to say going once. Going to say going twice. And if third time's a charm, I must be an Irishman. <laughs> That's okay, Rhonda. We still like you. Don't worry. Final warning. Paul, Marion wants your email address. We are sold to Sandala. Thank you, Sandala. Oh. 
All righty, this is a buy it now. This was a Disney only item. It is a replica of the Star Wars medal that Princess Leia gave out to Luke and Han Solo at the end of the first movie. We are looking for a buy it now of $40 plus shipping. Unless, of course, if you bought for me today, then it will go in with your box and it will all get added together. But this is a heavy piece. And it does come with, there it, there it is. And it does come with the strap to go around your neck if you want to walk around the house wearing the metal. Well, for any of you Star Wars fans, you can have your own little piece of the movie. Yes, we know Chewie didn't get one, but they gave him one later on in one of the other movies. As I said, this is a Star Wars only. Um, Star Wars, uh, Disney only. Comes with a little emblem. And you get the box. So we are looking for 40. Buy it now. If not, just type in pass and we can move it along. What year did they do this? This was, do not know, because Disney has a nasty habit of not mocking their stuff. Because they don't know when, they don't want you to know when you got it. But I've had it for a few years now, so it's at least uh, three years old, at least. But it does have some weight to it. I will tell you that. It is heavy. It's probably at least on its own about a good five pounds. And on the back, as you can see, it says Disney theme park merchandise. There we go. And when Disney does stuff like this, they only do it for a little while and then it disappears and that's it. All righty. Then we're passing to you, Paul. All righty. Okay. All righty then. All right, I'm going to do some rubber stamps for all you crafty people. That would be candy corn, jack-o'-lantern. I know you're going to want to see that information, right? Jack-o'-lantern face, but no company ID until you get to that side. Vap scrap. Uh, I'm going to do an assortment. I have, I think, two um, Halloween and the rest of Christmas to get ready for Christmas. Uh, I'm looking for a $5 start. I do not have an ink pad. So there's that one. There's that one. I think these are all the same company, although this one does not have a company name on it at all. Oh, Stampin' Up!
I know some of these are uh, highly sought after. All Night Media, Christmas Greetings. Yeah, I love Candy Corn, Dolly. Problem is it loves me and it stays with me. <laughs> Peace, joy, and love. Stamping up. Looking for a $5 start. Stampin' Up Christmas Tree. Long one. Merry Christmas. Stampin' Up 2003. No, I love candy corn. I think Dolly said she likes it too. Inka Dinka Doo, Woburn, Massachusetts. I lived in the next town over. Cool. Merry Christmas. So you get all those looking for a five dollar start for all the stamps. Five dollar start for all the stamps. If no one's interested, just say pass. Or say I'm not interested in those stamps. Give me something else to look at. $5 opening bid, anybody? Yeah, they have some special turkey f dinner flavored ones. Yep. Uh, what did we have recently? We had candy apple recently. Caramel candy apple. Wasn't too bad. Um, and then uh, what else did I, I saw something else. Cat Cat is in for five. Thank you, Cat. Uh, there was another one. Oh, s'mores was the other flavor they had. I'm kind of like the regular autumn mix that has the, a lot of the chocolate pieces in it. I do love some chocolate. Of course. Your cat at five. Cat, are you registered? Jerry, do you have cat's info? Yes, I have cat's info. Oh, wait a minute. Cat, cat? Yeah. No, I thought it was the other cat. Cat, have you registered with me? I believe she did. Because I've seen her before. Oh, yeah, I have too. Yep. I have two. All right, we got cat at five. Looking for seven on the stamps. Rubber stamps. Crafty little things, aren't they? Any advance? Five looking for seven. I'd give S'mores Candy Corn a try. Yeah, I mean, I would too, but I, I went for the... We did. I had to try the Caramel Candy Apple. Um, and the regular Autumn because it had a lot of the chocolate pieces. Any advance, last chance for any advance on the chance for an advance. If you're going to make an advance, this is your last chance on an advance. Take this chance to make your advance, five looking for seven on any chance to make an advance. Last chance. Cat, I don't see it, but... We're all good here. So if you could just fill that in. As soon as you hit submit, I will get it. You will obtain an invoice from me within the next uh, 24 hours. And we will get your items shipped out to you. Lickety split. Are we done? Going twice. Sold. 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 Mine. Sold. She's the Mine. only one that's bidding.
Sold. Sold. <laughs> thank you, Kat. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight rubber stamps. Eight holiday stamps. Cat. Cat. Five. Five. All right. Now. Let's see if you like this next piece we put up. Or next pieces. I'm going to start this at 10. For this whole tray lot. Let me zoom out. All right. I have a tray of plastic. Tanks and trucks. This one, I believe. All right. This one goes on its own, Army. There are really no... But if you pull it backwards, Paul, then let it go. It should run on its own. No, not this one. No? No. No. So... Um, what was I saying? There's no real markings. It just says made in China on these. I'm looking for a $10 start for everything you see here. And I'm going to show them to you because some of them look like model kits like this one that I had to reassemble. Pages is in a 10. All right, Pages. So this needs some glue because I had to put all these pieces back together again. So this is a model kit from somewhere. It does have some markings. It does look like it has paint on it. Copyright. Monogram models. So it is a model kit. Made in USA. So that's from monogram models. All right. So you got that. You got this gun turret. Turret gun that is posable, I guess. You get that. You get this one that a wheel fell off, but the wheel is in here. So it needs to be glued back on. I'm unsure who am I to pay for stamps. Cat, I put the link in. If you could just fill that out. All right, hit the link, just fill it out, and then hit submit. I will get it, and then I will get you an invoice right, uh, well, tomorrow. So you'll get an invoice from me. So this obviously must be another model kit that I believe is missing the other half of this and maybe something else. So there's that, but there's a lot, there's a lot in here, as you can see. Here's another soft plastic that's missing wheels. It's still posable. Another hard plastic with wheels. Here's that first piece that moves. Here's another one. All right, so there's another one. Just says made in China. All right, I'm looking for 14. This one. All right, there's another one. This one's pretty cool looking. I don't, never in the war, so I don't know what this is called. And they do have some writing on them. These look almost identical. No, these two look almost identical. Softer plastic, no wheels, but they still move. A little different. No wheels, some writing, still moves. 
This, I believe, is another model kit. Um, Durham Industries, made in Hong Kong. This has little wheels on it, but I still think this is a model kit. Or was a model kit, and I think that the long part of the uh, weapon is gone. This is pretty cool. <clears throat> Transport truck. Another smaller truck. No back wheels. There's a big Jeep that will fit some action figures. And last but not least, three mini tanks, all movable. These look like smaller model kits. So that's the whole. Oh, wait a minute. Here's the wheel for the other piece. And here's some extra pieces, too. Look like these go on the brown painted model kit. And this must go on the other piece that I said is missing some pieces. So that's all there. I will pack it very carefully. So you're getting these three tanks. Truck number one. Truck number two. Big Jeep. There's a tank. A tank, a, some kind of truck tank. I'm not sure what kind it is. Tank, 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 model kit, weapon, another weapon, another model kit. Another truck. Another truck. Another truck. So you're getting the whole box of military trucks. We got Cat D in a 12. Wow, that's probably not even a dollar a piece. One, two, three, four, five, six, nope. seven, eight, nine, ten. No, not at all. Not at all. See, like 75 cents a piece, which is a great deal. So no advance on everything. You're getting the whole box. AJ says they're out. All right. Let's call it to Cat D. Good deal, Cat. Sold to Cat B. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for bidding. Thanks, everybody, for being here with us. My turn. All right. We have a different sign that was used at a restaurant, I guess, called Belly Busters. It is 16 by 10 in size. We are looking for $15 on the sign. As you can guess, I picked up a few signs along the way. <laughs> and it is metal. Any interest in the Belly Busters food sign for $15? Hello, Tim. Welcome to the party. If no interest, just type in pass and we can move it along. Any 
interest on the sign for fifteen dollars. It has some way to it, but not a lot. We gotta pass, so we shall pass. So now we're gonna move the camera because now we have a set of toys. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fifteen figures looking for a ten dollar start on the Batman figures. You get some cars. You get some big figures, some little figures. You get the bat plane. You get a little robin. We have, like I said, two, four, four six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen figures looking for a ten dollar stock on the figures. And we got Cat D in at 10. Her box is getting bigger and bigger as it goes. <laughs> Any other advance over 10? Looking for 12. If not, we'll start calling it the cat. Nice little Batman lock. You got a nice Joker car. And then you got that Batmobile. And Batmobile 4x4. Four four. <laughs> and you got this one. And it's got somebody inside of it. I think it's supposed to be Robin. No, nope, it's Batman. Looking for 12. And don't say nothing about my knees, Rod Rhonda. And we are sold. Okay. Thank you, Cat D. That's my cue. Back to you, Paul. All right. I just got a message saying that Facebook is having an outage. The other day it was us, YouTube. Okay. Um, I'm doing this watch in the case. It's Bill Elliott, the competitor sports watch. And there's the watch. Doing a $25 opening bid. Anyone interested? $25 opening bid on the Bill Elliott, the competitor licensed sports watch. Still has the case. I don't think it's been used. Doesn't look like it.
If it has, it wasn't used much. It's in very nice condition. For all you NASCAR fans. Looking for a $25 opening bid. Any interest? From Suntime, if you want to do your um, reviews, your comps. It comes in this case. There you go. That's just the way it opens. Any interest? Yeah, the lag must have got worse since um, Facebook is having their issues. Well, I guess it's, it's close to 7 o'clock, so more people are home. They're done with dinner. So, yeah, I can imagine. Any interest at all? Anybody like to uh, put in an offer on it? I've had it for a while. You can see it's working, second hand's moving. Yeah, keep the issues on Facebook. Yeah, if you were here, you were here the other night when they were crazy on um, on YouTube for everybody. And then Google the next day said, yeah, we had out of sporadic outages throughout the country. Anybody interested in this watch? Anybody interested in making an offer? Um, let me know. I have it here. I'm going to start this at $5. Well, what is it, Paul? Navigator's Plotting Instrument Set. And there's the model number. Oh, crap. The dog's barking like crazy. I let her outside. There's the piece. I'm looking for a $5 opening bid, and I will be right back. Sorry. Okay, sorry about that. So Navigator's Instrument High Gloss Chrome. Um, like a um, watchmaker screwdriver. So I guess you loosen it and tighten it. Germany. Made in Germany. There's the other one. 
these are curved oh that looks like that's lead right there so this is how you draw your circles and stuff like that on the map yep so any interest and that where you are and then you move the other piece over to where you want to go and then make your circle right the cases as you can see ripped any interest i don't know what they sell for but looking for a five dollar opening bid does come in a cool case any interest looking at similar watches ebay they're pricey that must have been for the competitor watch that I had. Yeah. All right. Well, let's do this then. Get this. And this. $25 opening bid. Both pieces. Any interest? Back by silver, five. So you're just interested in this. Okay. No problem. Basically a compass and dividers. True. True, true, true. But heavy duty. These are not just like plastic pieces. These are heavy duty. So we go back by silver in at five. Looking for seven. Five. Looking for seven. It is seven. It's seven o'clock. Yes. <laughs> five. Looking for seven. Going once. Five. Looking for seven. Going twice. Final call. Sold. 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 Oh, I don't know how long you planning on going, Paul. I can stop anytime you want. Well, I'm just asking, that's all, because I know you've been on for three hours, and I know you've mellowed out a bit now since we started, so I just want to make sure. <laughs> Wine has that effect on me. <laughs> <laughs> but right. yeah, I could, no, if I could stop anytime you want. All right, why don't we just do uh, one more round, and that's it. Okay. All righty. We have this Disney piece. It does have some pins. Uh, figures put in it like the Tinkerbell, the Mickey, the Cinderella, and the Pluto. We are looking for twenty-five dollars start. It is a wall hanging piece. It comes in this lovely box that Disney provided. That doesn't say anything on it, so you had to guess at what it was. But we have this. Nice. Looking for 25 to start. I got it, Cat Cat. Thank you. Any interest in the Disney picture with the pins? Um, no, it is not signed anywhere. Sorry, Cat D. But it's still a nice piece, especially with a little thumper down over there because my son likes thumper. I think that's the other thing that's hurting too is that the lag is getting worse. 
Yeah, that's funny, though, that Facebook would send out that message. So once again, if you guys go back and review this video and see stuff that didn't sell and would like it, just contact us and we will sell it to you. Because that is why we are here. Okay, we will say it's a pass, so we will pass. Oops, we'll put that away later because, well, where, where did I put my other thing? My other thing. Oh, there it is. We have out of 300 cards, these are from 1990, there are 235 of them in the set. We are looking for a $25 start on these Bobby cards. This was a very tough set to put together. And as I said, they were 300 of them. But you got 235, which is a near set. Looking for 25 on the Barbie set. And for all you Barbie fans out there, you can get them all from all the different years that Barbie came out. Any interest on the Bobby cards? They're all in near mint condition. Very little wear to them. Because you're in a Bobby world with a Bobby girl. Yeah, she's made of plastic. Nope, never mind. Not going to sing that song no more. I like that song. <laughs> you would, wouldn't you? I do. I think I have it saved as an MP3. <laughs> Come on, Barbie. Let's go party. All righty. That's the path. So, on to you, Paul. All righty. Last lot. This is a buy it now. Ten of these. Brand new in the package. This is all I have left is ten pieces. 32 pets to choose from. Virtual pet keychains. This is a remake of the old Tamaguchis from way back when. Uh, mint in the package. Brand new. Last ten pieces. We were selling these at $2 a piece. I went through, I think, two master cases of them. This is all I have left. I'm looking for the first person to save $5 gets it. First person in the chat, $5 gets my last 10 pieces. Should be able to make your money back on a, selling a couple of pieces. Actually, one and a half, probably. Any interest? All brand new. All ten. Like the old Tamaguchis. If you don't remember what the Tamaguchis are, like it says, there's 32 pets. Backed by Silver's in at five. You get it. 32, 32 pets oh. to choose from. If you don't feed them, take them to the bathroom or whatever, they die. They die. So, uh, back by silver, you get it. Oh, where is it? Oh, okay. All right. So, well, that was fun, Jerry. Yes, it was. It was a very interesting show today. Yeah, yeah. Let me just write this down. Tamaguchi's. 
We want to thank everybody for coming in and putting up with the craziness. But that's what makes it fun because you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. Too bad. I mean, too bad that Dolly's going through all that crap. Yeah. I don't envy that at all. And then having to move and everything. I don't I'm envy that at all. Um, but don't forget, everybody, I put her email in. I'll do it again. If you're looking for a mystery box, items, like you've seen all the stuff Dolly's been bringing to auction here in the last several, several weeks. Um, she's doing mystery boxes, different sizes and all that. So if you go and uh, email her, say, Give me a price. Give me a size. She said she can theme it a little bit. Um, no, back. To, I'll uh, I'll send you a whole email because I know I ha you you you're up on me like three bucks, so I owe you that back. So um, yeah, I'll get it all. So we'll um, so we'll be square. And it is Dolly's weekend. She said she's going to be busy Sunday, so she's thinking of moving it to Saturday for an auction. Plus, it gets you away from the football. Yeah. Yep. Because people do want their football. Um, so as soon as we have a firm time and everything on that, I will um, put a link up, or Dolly will put the link up, because like I said, it is her uh, weekend. Thank you for coming in, Tim. It's appreciated. Everybody, it's appreciated. Yep. Definitely, definitely, definitely appreciated. And we want to thank Rhonda for helping us out today. Yes, thank you, Rhonda. I'm it's sure Jerry has hours. your – I think I have your info, but if not, Jerry has it. I'll get those books out to you. I, I have Rhonda's info as well. Like I'll send you hers and uh, Matt's. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate you helping. It is uh, – um, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. You know, it's never a problem. So, um, I guess that's about it, right? Yeah, I guess so. Time to go make some dinner. What's no, the my dinner's between, already waiting for me. What's the dinner between? What's the difference between dinner and supper? A fork and a spoon. I don't know. I don't. No football cat says right. Just internet. All right, everybody. I don't have anything else to say. The wine just mellowed me right up. Too bad it couldn't erase an hour from this afternoon or this morning, but <laughs> um, I guess I'm taking it worse than what it was anyway. So anyway, have a good night, everybody. Have a great weekend. It's supposed to be kind of crappy here. Sunday's supposed to rain like crazy again. I got a, a community yard sale to go to tomorrow. Oh, okay, cool. All righty, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jerry. No problem. Anytime. You know that, Paul. See everybody later. Don't forget Monday. What the hell? Monday.